Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna answer one of the most common questions we get as real estate agents. Should you wait to buy a home? Real quick before we get started, if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Hassan, I'm a real estate agent in the Vancouver area, and I make educational real estate content to help you in your buying or selling journey. I also make content to help you make your moves in and around Vancouver. So if that sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a future video. So most often when I'm having this conversation with clients, it comes down to two very separate reasons for having to possibly wait or wanting to wait before purchasing real estate. Number one is financial capability. Is the client ready to make the financial commitment? Do they have what they need financially? And number two is very different, and it's when buyers or clients are wanting to time the bottom of the real estate market. So let's talk about number two first, trying to time the bottom of the real estate market. You know, at face value, you would think that that's a good reason to wait to buy real estate. The problem with the strategy of trying to time the bottom of the real estate market is we don't know when the bottom of the real estate market is until we look in the rear view mirror. So even as a real estate agent and as real estate agents, we're often studying data, but we are looking at past sales and historical sales to tell us when certain bottoms were. So for example, we can look back and say, okay, sales dipped in 2018, but then they started to rise up again. And so we can only look back to try and figure out where that where that bottom is. Now, my suggestion to clients that come to me and they say, well, I really, you know, I don't wanna buy something today and have prices go down further, and then what am I gonna do? Uh, a couple of things, if you, again, I've said this plenty of times on my channel, if you are a long-term purchaser, you're very safe to buy Vancouver real estate, in my opinion, when the market dips. But one of the things that you can do to give yourself that peace of mind is, in a market that is a little bit slower or it's heading downwards, you're not quite sure if we're at the bottom, you should, rather than trying to time the market, you should be trying to get the best possible deal you can that that time will present for you. So what I mean for that is if you're not extremely picky about the exact home that you need, if you're open-minded, if you can look at different options, you should be submitting offers out there on different properties and trying to see what is the best deal you can get in today's market because that's gonna give you some peace of mind. You get a good deal on a property in a, in a market that's going downwards, you're doing yourself a big favor, especially if you're gonna be a long-term real estate holder. So talking about how it's impossible to time the bottom of the market, but also something you can do to, again, give you that peace of mind, the other side of the equation is the whole financial stability and stability side of things. I have clients that come to me, they're current, re currently renting, they do actually have the financial means to potentially get into the real estate market, but again, they're still not sure whether they should do it. They, they see that you know being a tenant is pretty comfortable, that they don't have to take care of repairs and maintenance and not a lot of surprise costs, etc. The one thing I would say about you know, that sort of mindset and that mantra, I get it, I understand it, but in today's rental market, and it's unfortunate to have to say it, but if you are renting a property right now and you are on a month-to-month -month term, uh, unfortunately, you, you are in a bit of a risky situation that obviously that property could get sold to an end user and you would be forced to move. And especially if you've held that rental for some period of time, you're likely paying uh, significantly below market rent. So that you know, stability in terms of, you know, not having unexpected expenses come up, um, that can often often change overnight if, if that property goes up for sale. So again, this is assuming that perhaps you're renting a property and you have the financial capability to purchase right now. I, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to wait, again, if you're in that month-to-month -month situation. If you have a fixed-term tenancy, tenancy, you love where you live, you know, it might be a bit of a different situation, but again, that month-to-month -month tenancy right now, unfortunately, is a pretty risky tenancy to have. Now, having said all of that, there, of course, are circumstances where you should wait to buy real estate, but it doesn't have to do with timing of the market, and it doesn't have to do with the uh, correlation between renting and buying and which one is more risky. It has to do with your own personal circumstance. So, for example, uh, if you're someone that travels a lot for work or you don't know exactly where work might take you. You might work a job that may transfer you elsewhere, may not make sense for you to buy real estate at this time, especially if you don't wanna buy something that you may ultimately end up renting out as an investment property. So if you expect short-term changes for your own living situation, 
I, I wouldn't suggest you know purchasing real estate right now because if you're in a situation where you buy something and you have to sell it again in six months or a year, that same property, because of the fees involved, you're probably gonna be underwater. You're gonna sell it for less than what you purchased it for. And the other reason why you may wanna wait to buy real estate is if you are targeting a very specific type of property. You've made your mind up, you're looking for you know, in a, in a certain neighborhood, exact type of a property that's gonna meet the needs of your family for a very long time. As much as it is pretty good advice, I would say to just get yourself into the market. If you're not concerned financially that a market could get away from you, so if sales do pick up and prices do pick up financially, if you're not concerned that prices could escape you and you may find yourself out of the market for good or for a long period of time, then I think it's okay to wait for that perfect property for your family and for your situation. Guys, I hope you got some insight in terms of whether you should wait to buy a home or whether you should take action now. If you did, I'd love it if you could hit the like button because what that does is it takes this video and it sends it out to more people so they can learn from it as well. If you're in the Vancouver area and you want to talk with me one-on-one -on -one about your real estate situation, you can book me in the Calendly link below or you can shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a call, whatever's easier for you. I'd love to chat with you one-on-one. -on -one. Outside of that, thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.